Hey Aries, hope you guys are doing really good. Welcome to your weekly love reading, November 19th to the 25th. Uh, before we get started, I do have a couple announcements. I started a Patreon account, um, and I'm really excited because it took a lot of work to do. And I started it um, because I want to see if I can do this full time, okay? So I'm going to put the link in all the descriptions. Check for it below on this video. I have a lot of great content there, and I'm going to start... Um, really making more content if I, if it becomes successful. If Patreon becomes successful, I'm going to put a lot more content on YouTube and I'm going to do this full time. Okay, so I have a lot of ideas for some great uh, videos. Um, I'm going to do, I'll probably be doing cuspy videos at some point. Again, if Patreon is successful, um, I'm considering doing a yearly forecast. I'm even considering doing seasonal forecasts. Um, people have asked me for pick a card readings. I don't know. It doesn't really go with my style because I let the cards fly, right? So I don't know. I'll think about that one. I'll think about that one. So for those of you new to Tarot or new to my channel, please know that this is a very general reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Messages come through for those that need to hear them. I can't read for every single Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the planet. <laughs> I can't. That's, that's God, okay? I can't do that. So if it's not your story, I don't need to know. If it's not your story, then then it's not your story. That just is what it is. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And don't make it fit, guys. Don't make it fit. Sometimes I get multiple messages in a reading. And don't forget, people who are going through these vibrations are going through different variations of it. So if the whole thing fits except for one detail, guess what? It probably is your story, but that little detail was probably meant for just someone else in their own specific situation. I know I have a tough time with that word. Okay, so just know that. Now we are working with energy, guys. So it could go both ways. It could be, uh, messages could be for you. It could be for your partner, someone in your immediate environment, work, family, etc. But this is a love reading. So it's circulated around love, romantic or family or otherwise. Okay. Um, also know that the gender of the cards does not matter. Everyone is masculine energy, feminine energy. It's just all energy, guys. All right, so let's get started. Any mess? Hey, 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 hey. He's scratching up my screen. <laughs> Any messages for Aries and love? November 19th. Oh, November 19th to the 25th. I don't know what happened there. I feel like someone's trying to poke me in the eye. Um, any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? One more, guys, one more. Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Aries, Aries. Let's see what we got going on for you, all right? For the 19th to the 25th in love. Okay, Aries, let's see what we got. Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Oh, someone's impatient. Someone is being very impatient about something. Overall energy, we have the Three of Cups, okay? Definitely feeling, hmm, social circle. Why is a social circle going on in your reading, guys? Um, I'm just saying. There's a lot of, like, rejoice, rejoicing going on. There's a lot of partying. There's a lot of partying going on. But if anything, I mean, it's good stuff. It's just, I've never had this come up as the overall energy. It's like, this is definitely um, multiple people, okay? And some of you are going to say third party. Totally possible, but let's see what, what comes up in the reading, okay? I just flipped the cards over, and I have three of swords here. Uh, we have three of swords in reverse. Oop. Temperance in reverse. This is Sagittarius energy. Then we have king of cups in reverse, Scorpio energy. This is someone who's really emotionally unavailable. Okay, really emotionally unavailable. It could also be any water sign, any air sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it is Scorpionic energy. All right, I'm getting one scenario. We'll see if other ones play out. I'm getting the scenario of, like, you guys are, are around your friends right now. You guys are hanging around your friends. You're trying to have fun. Trying to hang out with the girls for all the women that are watching. For the guys, you're hanging out with the bros. Um, trying to get over this heartache, which I think you've mostly done. But you guys are being a little impatient about it. And you guys are doing a lot of partying. Like, some, okay, not you guys. But someone is definitely doing a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, a lot of drugging. Um... A little bit of addiction going on here addiction can come in any form you can make anything an addiction 
Trust me. I've been there. I am the queen of addictions. Trust me. Okay. Um, but if anything, it's like impatience. If anything, it's impatience. But definitely there's some addiction going on here. Uh, and then you have this person kind of hanging out on the periphery. Now let's clarify. I want to clarify this temperance card. All right. This temperance card's really bothering me, Aries. Clarify the temperance card in reverse for my Aries in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify the temperance in reverse for my Aries in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify temperance in reverse. Hey, you guys are having fun. You're living it up. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Aries in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th. Yeah, a lot of drinking, a lot of drinking. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th. Overall energy, three of cups in reverse. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me lay out all the cards and let me see what's going on here. Someone's, someone's acting a fool. Whether it's you, Aries, or the person you're dealing with. At first, I thought it was you, Aries, and I do think you guys are around your friends right now and just trying to, like, have a good time. Um, but someone is acting a fool and drinking way too much, and I just can't get past it. Um, and it's really, it's like, it's starting to bother me, like, physio, I can't use that word. Physio, physiologically? You, physically. <laughs> physically. Um, ooh. Like I'm actually getting a very severe headache all of a sudden. Okay, I'll show you the cards one by one and I'll tell you what I think is going on. So overall energy is the three of cups in reverse. Um, this to me is just overdoing it. This is over partying. Usually it's like, oh no, this is third party. Oh no, this is um, sadness. It's like, to, to me right now, this is like, I'm partying so hard, I, I can't even stay in the cup. <laughs> I'm partying so hard, I can't even stay in the cup. Temperance, addictions... Letting your inhibitions way go, like let it, letting your inhibitions go like way too far. And then this first line, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is the drinking card. You literally have like three drinking cards all packed up together, whether it's you, Aries, or the person you're dealing with. Um, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay? It's almost like someone's just trying to get lost in fun because they're, they're like, they're feeling a little hopeless. Oh. I just don't like it. All right, and that's why the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. It needs to turn over. This needs, what, whatever this behavior is, it really needs to stop. It needs to stop so that forward movement can happen, whether you want to be single or you want to be with somebody. But again, it's like someone's really emotionally unavailable and someone's getting over a heartbreak. Um, and I feel like they're just losing themselves and partying. Okay, so this next line. Oh. We have Death card in reverse, Scorpionic energy. The Sun, Leo energy. Ace of Cups in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And then Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is like... Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Yeah, someone has lost their joy. Usually with the Death card, I don't really see it as something like truly dying, but it's like someone feels like their all their happiness and joy has just died. Um... It's very depressive. Very depressive. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. As someone who feels really lonely. Really lonely. Oh my god, Aries. This is really sad. Whether this is you or your partner, I'm not sure. I'm really not. Because this, this like energy is so overwhelming. It's like, I can't tell if it's you or your partner. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse. This is someone who doesn't want to be alone. Someone who really doesn't want to be alone and has a lot of insecurities right now is not feeling very strong, not feeling very abundant, and they're exhausted. They're really needing to rest, and they're not doing it. They're just, like, it's almost like they just want to keep partying. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Um, they're living in a fantasy. They're deluding themselves, thinking that they can just do this to get over it, and it's it's not going to work. 
it's not gonna work. Oh, my head. <laughs> Ooh, it doesn't feel good. Uh, let's clarify the Three of Swords in reverse, okay? Clarify the Three of Swords in reverse for my Aries. Oh, that's funny. I did not want to use that duck. Oh, let me use this duck. Clarify Three of Swords in reverse for my Aries in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Three of Swords in reverse for my Aries in love. November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Three of Swords in Reverse for my Aries in Love, November 19th to the 25th. Clarify Three of Swords in Reverse for my Aries in Love, November 19th to the 25th. And with that Death card, it's like change is trying to happen, but it's in reverse. It's being resisted, okay? The healing is... So, yeah, the healing is also, in a way being resisted because they're just throwing themselves into partying. Clarify three of swords in reverse. Clarify three of swords in reverse. Clarify three of swords in reverse for my Aries and love. November 19th to the 25th. Okay. Overall energy. We have knight of swords. This is Gemini energy. Um, could also be any fire sign, any, any air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is about quick communication, talking, talking it out, Ta talking out the pain, <laughs> getting your closure. <coughs> mm. Sorry, let me get some water. Mm. Uh, excuse me. All right, now these two cards came out clarifying the three of clarifying the three three of swords in reverse. There we go. Oh, it's not for that to focus. Queen of Wands in reverse with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands is your card, guys. This is your card, card Aries. The Aries card, and it's in reverse. It could also be any fire sign, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and, um, or Leo, or Sag. Someone who's very angry. Someone who's, like, who's very bitter, very angry, very bitter, very upset. Because um, of the lack of give and take. Take. I almost feel like... Aries, you feel like something was taken from you. Um, and you're wanting to talk about this a lot. You're really wanting to talk about this. Like I said, Aries, I can't tell if it's you doing the partying or if it's your partner, but someone's definitely doing the partying, but Aries, for sure, you feel like something was taken from you. Not just your time. But like a almost like a piece of you, like I like I want that piece of me back, motherfucker. <laughs> is kind of what this is. This is also my drama card. There's a lot of drama around this heartache. A lot of drama. Someone might have even stole money from you, because like you definitely feel like something was taken, like physically taken. Even if it's like just a piece of yourself, money, love. I mean, you you definitely feel like someone stole from you. Okay. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Swords. This is a weird overall energy of like wanting to talk about the feelings. It's like I feel like there's more there. And we're going to use my Versa deck. I know I'm so happy. I'm like be able to use it in readings now. Just keep in mind, guys, I'm still learning this deck. And because it's vice versa, meaning it like, you know, it shows you two different stories of on the same card. I'm still learning all the meanings. So if I have to pull from the book, sorry, I have to pull from the book. I'm still learning it. And it's a hard deck to shuffle with. So that's also been interesting, but I'm still so happy I have it. It's a visually awesome deck, and it gives you more details. More details than other decks would give you as far as messages are concerned, okay? Clarify the Knight of Swords for my Aries in love. Clarify the Knight of Swords for my Aries in love. Clarify Knight of Swords for my Aries in love. Clarify Knight of Swords. That is so funny. Okay, this card came out once and I was like, yeah, I don't know. And then it came out again in the same position. This is the Queen of Swords, okay, to clarify the Knight of Swords. <laughs> so yeah, someone's wanting to talk. The other person's like, nope, get away. Get away from me. I don't want to talk to you. So Aries, you could be the Queen of Swords or you could be the Knight of Swords. You know your story best, all right? But someone is definitely, like someone's wanting to talk because they know that there's a lot of hurt and like the person that is like no i'm done is the one that feels the most hurt so 
I actually, after saying it like that, Aries, I feel like I'm more inclined to say that this is you. You're like, you're done. I'm not dealing with your shit. You have your back turned on them. You've cut that shit out. This is the other side, if you're just curious. But yeah, you're just like, I'm not, talk I'm not talking to you. I don't have to talk to you. I don't care what you want to know. I don't care what closure you need. I, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. And I'm not even done clarifying this card yet. Um, <laughs> clarify Knight of Swords. Clarify Knight of Swords. Got a lot of air, fire, and water. Clarify Knight of Swords. Clarify, clarify Knight of Swords. Clarify Knight of Swords. Clarify Knight of Swords. Ooh. Okay, overall energy. Um... Hold on. Slippery slopping everywhere. We have the high priestess in this position. This is the other position. But this is um this is the position of going within to be very in to you know use your intuition and to be very clear in what you want, okay? And what uh, is transpiring around you. All right? So yeah, you just you have your back turned on them. So far we've got this. <laughs> got that all that Aries. Oh my goodness. The Emperor, your major arcana card. And look, his back is turned. This is the other side if you're curious, but yeah, you have your back turned. You have your back turned. You're like, nope, I got shit to do. I am way too important to be dealing with your with your dramatic ass and, and all the pain that you've caused. It's like, no, your back is so turned on this person. And you are, you're going within, you're getting your own clarity, you're using your own intuition, and you're handling life. You're handling your own shit. All right. So those are all the cards that came out. Um, and it's just like, it's amazing. That's amazing. You're just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm just, I'm fucking done. Fucking done. Um, it's really unfortunate because there's so much hurt here and there's so many cups here that that tells me there was a lot of love here. There was a lot of love here. It makes me very sad. All right, so we'll pull from the Romance Angels deck, see what this has to say. I can't imagine a reconciliation happening. There's so much pain and maybe maybe down the line, but honestly, it feels so fresh, like such an open wound that it's like you're going to be done with this person for quite a while. I Yeah, I, I mean, I don't see a ten of swords, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't see it being super done, but... Aries, I, I like you want nothing to do with this person right now. They really hurt you. And they're doing so much partying and drinking and drugging. It's like it's a little ridiculous. And they're like they're living in their own little world. Yeah, Aries, I don't think it's you. I think you're in pain, but I think you're both in pain. And I think that's why they're coming in as the Knight of Swords. That is such a dramatic card. So much drama. It's like and acting without thinking. And that's what a person does. It's like when they're partying like this and drinking like this, they're acting without thinking. Uh, any messages for my Aries in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages from my Aries in love? November 19th to the 25th. Let's see what we got here. Any messages from my Aries in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages from my Aries in love? November 19th to the 25th. Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Aries in love, November 19th to the 25th? Ooh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah. You know, this is, like I said, there's a lot of pain here, guys, and it's going to take a lot to consider forgiving and then you know let alone learning the lesson from this um but you got you know you're aries you can handle it you can totally handle it overall energy is attraction you attract romantic oh my battery's dying you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully um because like i said guys overall this is your energy you are living it up with friends you're you're trying to have a good time trying to get your mind off of this pain and that might be your way of healing and that's totally okay that's totally fine. And it's very possible that Aries is doing the drinking, but 
I don't think so. I mean, you're drinking probably, but not to this kind of level of excess of trying really hard to like just mask your pain and just losing yourself in it. I don't think so. Um, but this is about manifesting the love that you want. Okay. You know, this is a single woman. It is. It's a single woman and trying to attract romantic love by, by living life. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're living life. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. By being yourself, being happy, finding your inner peace, and, and you know, you guys are going to be fine. So you know what? It's okay. Live it up right now. Even if you guys aren't officially broken up, there's a lot to be learned from this. Like I said, I don't see the Ten of Swords. It doesn't feel like a true ending. So please keep that in mind. And the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. There's a lot of stuff that has to be closed out and worked out here. And I know I know you probably don't, don't like hearing that, but... If it doesn't get resolved, I would not be surprised if this person comes back around later at a certain point, but not anytime soon. There's too much pain here on both ends, and they're too busy being drunk and high or whatever. No judgment. I'm just saying they're losing themselves in all that to mask the pain of all of it in their own little delusional world. Okay, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it sounds really rough, but honestly, guys, remember, be happy, have fun. Do you, even if you're single or just separated from this person, okay? That's going to bring you happiness. That's the law of attraction. You want happiness? You want love? You got to put it out there. It'll come back to you, okay? Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Patreon, guys. There are videos up, and I'm going to be uploading videos constantly every single week, okay? So just know that. Um, and don't forget to read all the details of the tiers as well because, it's you know, to just fully understand what you're getting. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye.